Hi Gary, I want to thank you for sending in your sample material. I got your roll uh, this morning. We're going to go ahead and I've got a small steel rule die here. It's got a couple of longer rectangles in it, and this is kind of the way you're, you're going to want yours to reset up. Except you're going to have a little gap in between yours for your rows. You can lay it right on top of here like this. Now this, you can either turn this die upside down, like this. Uh, I think you said something about you wanted to have yours mounted on the top. So this is going to simulate it cutting down towards that way. But the problem is, I think you're going to see here, is the, the, die, the material is going to want to stick in the cavities of the dies. So they won't fall out very easily. So you'll have to pull them out by hand, like this. So what I think you'll want to do is have your die facing up. So if your cutting board mounted to this top flat. Like this right here. Then, when you put your material, you cut your pieces to the lengths you need or whatever, and you can set them down on top of your die like this. Then just slide the die and the material in. And you can do the same thing that way. You slide the die and the material out. You can pull your pieces out of your die just as quickly. And then start the process all over again. Now your die will be the same length as the, the cutting board here uh, as far as your, your pieces uh, will be lined up. So you can line them up and just set them down on top of there each time. Now I'll go ahead and send you the video over so you can see how I did this. And then we can discuss the further options. Thank you.